A couple other things to make note of when you're creating things. See at the beginning of a couple of these lines where it's got a pound sign or a hashtag? If that's there, it means that the computer program, when you try to run it, it doesn't play with or doesn't do anything with the information that's there. That's how you can make different notes, like I did here, saying this is for the instruments with those variables. And same thing down here, which gave you the template for how to use Fit Media. Another thing, an area where you can work with is where it says set tempo. The default tempo for a piece of music is 120. If you change that number to a, sl a smaller number, for example 80, and I rerun it, the same piece of music now sounds like this. It slows everything down because the tempo, tempo is slower. I wanted to make things faster if I change it to 180 and rerun it. It sounds like this. So you can make your the entire piece of music faster or slower in this way. Another thing to, I'm going to go ahead and set it back to 120. Another thing is where we put it on track one or track two. The next thing is the measure you want it to be in. If you didn't want it to start at the beginning of a measure, you can put in decimal places after it to have it start at a different place. So for example, if I wanted these drums to start in the middle of measure two instead of the beginning of measure three, I can change the starting measure to 2.5 and run it again. Notice, watch right here. If I run it, it slides it over now and is starting in the middle of measure 2. Same thing for the ending measures. If I want to actually end this here in the middle of measure 6, I can change the end to 6.5, rerun it, and it's going to stop there. So now, we've got it. And so the drum part is going to end before the synthesizer does. Another thing you might have noticed was how much louder the drum loop is than the synthesizer which makes it kind of hard to hear. So what you can do is an add an effect in called volume gain. So to do that I'm going to come back down here to my programming. Hit enter. I'm going to put a hashtag. I'm going to put an effects area. Then I'm going to put in a command called set effect. In the first number here that you put or that you put in is the track number you want it to do. So I'm going to do it on track number two, which again was our drum loop. Now the comma volume comma gain, and what this is the volume you want it to be. It's a little bit different. It's not as simple as zero to ten. Um, the the quietest something can be is negative sixty. So it's going to take some playing with, so I'm going to start off, let's make this negative 10 and hit run. And you'll notice that the effect comes in here. Well, let's play it and see what it sounds like. Still a little bit too loud, so if I come back here, change this to negative 15 and rerun it. Go back to the beginning and play. That's better. You can still hear the drum beat, but you can also hear the synthesizer. So that's good. I'll, like I'll, I'll keep it that way. And you can do this again for multiple lines, put different effects in, and how you want it to work. But again, it, it adjusts the whole thing, the whole the whole um, track. So make sure you know that you want to drop the volume the whole way. If you had different ones, you want to play different volumes, put them on different tracks so you can adjust them that way. Another thing over here on the left hand side, just some things to show you. This one right underneath the music, this shows different scripts you've created. It does automatically save your script for you in the cloud, which is great. It's something that's new they've added in, so you don't have to make sure you save it every time. When you close out, it saves it for you automatically. You can go and load up another one that you've done just by simply clicking on it, and it'll open it up for you. Then you can hit run, it'll run that one as well you can try the different things. Um, also down here at the bottom is this book. You click on it, it brings up basically the instructions for how to use EarSketch. It has some other things in here. We talked about effects. 
you come down here to the set effect it's going to tell you different effects that you can add in and it has an area that explains what each one of them does um, there are a lot of things to play with again just for this section of the class we're just going to be doing um, small or simple simpler projects so but if you want to go look at it you're more than welcome to do so um, that walks you through pretty much everything you need to know to be able to do the project you're going to have to complete by the end of the quarter. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know.